If you're looking for a home weather station, 2025 has more options than ever. That led to big changes on our list. If you can believe it, we're already a quarter of the way through the 21st century. But for most of that time, only a few options existed when it came to home weather stations. That's changed dramatically, and a record nine stations scored high enough to be considered for our awards this year. Why so many? Two factors played a big role. First, most home weather stations today are pretty accurate, and most have gotten better thanks to more competition. Older stations, like the Vantage View and Vantage Pro 2, have been given new life with the release of a modern console. We're expanding our list accordingly. We're also doing this year's video a bit differently. We're giving you the list up front, after all, that's what you're here for, and follow it up with our thoughts and respond to some viewer feedback. We have all this on our website and text form, including full disclosure of our ratings, and that link is in the description below. Stick through to the end as I'll explain our ratings and also respond to some of your feedback. So without further ado, let's count down the best home weather stations of 2025. So there you go, a new editor's choice pick, a new best value pick, some new stations, and some missing stations too. So why is this list so different? These changes have a lot to do with the feedback we received from you across our videos. In some cases, it resulted in significant adjustments to scores. The quality of home weather stations that aren't Davis also improved quite a bit. More expensive stations generally last longer, but that's not always the case. Another difference is a preference for console list options if they're available. For example, the WS1553 IP replaces both the WS2902 and WS2000 on our list. It's the same story with the WS5000 IP3, which without the console is nearly the same price as the Tempest and a better option if you need accurate rainfall readings. We're also folding in support quality into our durability ratings. After all, durability doesn't matter if you don't have good customer support behind it. One common complaint we've heard is that some manufacturers are slow to respond to customer support issues. For example, all ambient weather stations were penalized by a half coin for that reason. The complaints have just become too numerous to ignore across my comment section and in user groups. I've actually reached out to ambient weather on this exact issue, and hopefully we'll have an answer for you all soon. Also, we're able to gather much more durability data now that many of these stations have been out for several years. Adding in your feedback over the past few months, and it appears as if some stations aren't as durable as we initially thought. At any given time, at most we only have two weather stations installed full time. Your comments have provided much more data on our picks than we've ever had in any other list over the last five years. And finally, we hate to drag politics into this, but tariffs are the elephant in the room and could completely blow up our ratings. There is a misconception on who pays them, evidenced by the dramatic uptick in searches for the topic after Trump won the election, which is the consumer. We're not going to opine here on the subject itself, but we think it's important that our viewers understand how tariffs may affect how much they pay for a home weather station. For example, companies like Eagle Wet and Logia, with research development and most manufacturing done overseas, would likely see the biggest price increases. Whatever the tariff is, that entire amount is likely to be passed on to you. Eagle Wet Wit Boy, now $199, could cost over $300 with the proposed 60% tariff on Chinese imports. But no home weather station on our list is immune. Ambient weather, Tempest, and even Davis source parts overseas. While the increases will still be significant, they wouldn't be as much as manufacturers with more exposure. If I was buying a weather station, I'd buy it now. 
we may need to rework our list if stations suddenly change in price. Hopefully we won't have to do that. Now let's examine the new, and in some cases returning stations to our list. Let's start with our new editor's choice pick, the WS5000 IP3. When we calculated our ratings, the 5000's jump was the one that surprised us, but it shouldn't have. Prior to inflation, this station was our best home weather station pick in both 2021 and 2022. Without the console, it's just $11 more expensive than the Tempest and overall more accurate. That's not to say that the Tempest isn't a great weather station, but your comments have given us pause regarding the overall usable life of these stations. Durability issues are one of the reasons why we're also replacing both the WS2000 and the 2902 with the WS1553 IP. The center suite used in all these stations appears to have an average usable life of about three years. And with our recommendation to skip the console in 2024, it just seemed like it was a good time to retire these from our list. Ecowitz Witboy has been getting rave reviews by our viewers and readers, and our test of the WS4000, Ambient Weathers version, proved to us that the station belongs as the best value pick. It's overall more accurate than the WS2902, even with the haptic rain gauge, and appears more durable too. However, tariffs could end its reign prematurely, and if so, WS1553 IP would likely be cheaper and the better option. Finally, and I will admit my error on this one, all Davis stations are returning to our list in 2025. They arguably should have been added last year, as the Weatherlink console has really improved the value of an already outstanding station. By the way, if you bought a home weather station that is no longer on a list and are wondering if you just bought the wrong one, those are still great weather stations and they will serve you well. We're just trying to more fairly compare weather stations with one another and consoles are increasingly a thing of the past. Plus, we like the idea of expandability, something our regular viewers already know. Before I sign off, I wanted to answer a couple comments from my last Best Home Weather Stations video. Can't answer them all, but I picked a few to answer right here. David Gilhausen, 8191 writes, Almost every clip here shows an automatic weather station surrounded by trees. Why get one if you don't have a place to sight it properly? Good point, but I have to disagree. Home weather stations in general aren't sighted in meteorologically perfect conditions, nor are they often designed to be. Most will have their setup similarly, and I have taken steps to prevent splashback and avoid sources of heat. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's the same reason why we don't use manual instrumentation to verify accuracy. In this case, it's a bit of overkill. I will say though that I have a sling psychometer on my wish list, but those aren't cheap. John First 6839 writes, I've been hosting weather stations for many years. However, I'm surprised to hear the Ambient Weather Osprey 2900 series as a pick. I've been through three of them and they don't seem to last. Just as an aside for those that didn't know, the original nickname used for the 2902 was the Osprey due to the sensor's bird-like appearance. Totally useless info, I know. Anyway, back to John's comment. I see your point, and that's the reason why we've adjusted stations down using the Osprey sensor and durability. However, I will add that my experience with the 2902 was flawless, but I also had mine installed for only about 12 months before the 5000 arrived. Kentucky Dan D writes, It would be helpful if you told us the prices on these things. You know, Dan, you're right. And from now on, I'm going to try to make an honest effort to put prices in every video. Dwayne Peg 2125 writes, I have a Kestrel Met 6000 for use on my cranberry farm. When it works, it is great. But in the two and a half years that I've owned it, the temperature gauge has been replaced three times and it isn't working now. I'm really sorry to hear this. My experience has been good, although I'm not a fan of how small the rain gauge bucket's hole is, which clogs easily. I've also had a hell of a time initially with correct barometric readings, but that was an AWM bug. I do think the Kestrel Met 6000 might have been rushed to release a bit because there are a lot of bugs that remain well into its first few months. But what you're experiencing is not acceptable for a $1,000 weather station, and I would ask them to replace the entire unit. If it was a car, it would be a lemon. Finally, Ye old Traveler writes, Any of these work with local servers and no internet required? I saved this one to the end because I got this question multiple times and wanted to spend a little more time on it. The simple answer here is from the factory, no. But let's dive a little deeper. Davis was the last to allow this in a way that was easy, as they had their own software. You could store that data locally however you liked. But with the introduction of WeatherLink Live and then the WeatherLink console, all data is now stored in the cloud. 
And while the software is available, it's not officially supported. What I recommend you consider is something like the Media Bridge, a third-party solution. The Media Bridge supports most home weather stations, however, not any modern ambient weather stations, so keep that in mind. Again, thanks for your comments, and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them too. So there you have it, our 2025 list of the best home weather stations with some pretty significant changes. We have reviews of the new stations joining our list in the works, which we'll upload in January after our holiday break. I am so humbled by the tens of thousands of views and the hundreds of new subscribers over the past few weeks and sincerely appreciate your feedback. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. We have a lot of exciting things planned for 2025 that you won't want to miss. Stay weatherwise, everyone.